life working remotely in Toronto. Um, as you can see, I just woke up not too long ago and I'm actually gonna take some allergy pills because unfortunately I have spring allergies. They're actually quite severe, but here in Toronto, they haven't been so bad. In New York City, it's a whole nother issue. I'm gonna take some pills and then I'm gonna do the nasal spray because I need that double protection. Pika's right here. He is loving this apartment, by the way. Um, we still have to take him out for his morning poo poo and pee pee. But I'm also just gonna get dressed right now and pack up my bag because I think this morning I'm gonna go to a cafe to get some work done. And then this afternoon I have to take a few meetings and I think I'm gonna come back home to do all that. Just so you guys know, I am working remotely um, for my company, which I do a nine to five job. It's currently uh, remote until January, 2023. So I can work pretty much from wherever I want. And we are in Toronto for this week. I'm gonna go and pack up my bag and probably take my dog out with my boyfriend Andrew and then I'm gonna head to a cafe. Let's get the day started. I'm so tired. Bye baby angel. I'll see you later. Be good at home, okay? Enjoy the sun. Bye baby. make some avocado toast with some of the groceries that we got a few days ago however for dessert because you have to have dessert of course right um i decided to go and buy beaver tails now if you're canadian i'm sure you know this is like a classic canadian dessert it looks amazing i think basically it's like this baked flatbread with a bunch of like sweet toppings i got the brownie one and then i got the strawberry cheesecake for andrew and i'm so excited to dig in because oh, i 
this looks so good it wasn't like super cheap i think it was like 650 or seven dollars canadian but it's funny because something that i've yeah, like yeah, learned to yeah. love to like think about is whenever i pay for something here in canadian dollars i know that it's less in usd and just makes me feel better like especially coming from new york city where everything's so expensive i love just knowing that it's cheaper than what it's than what it seems i got some chocolate on my fingers anyways one of my meetings this afternoon got canceled which is fine because I have some work to catch up on anyways and then I have two other meetings later on this evening so let's get to eating lunch because I'm hungry and actually I'm just gonna try my dessert right now because I just can't wait and I'm gonna eat this really quickly while I wait for my egg to fry for my avocado toast but okay let's give it a go shall we here is actually really thin and it's not like flaky but it kind of is it's like a thin fried pastry almost airy and I thought it was gonna be like thicker but it's not it's just and I got the brownie as I said it's so good it's so decadent I need to eat my actual meal first before I eat this but I can't help it look how big it is too mm. Here's my avocado toast. Excuse the sloppiness. Uh, it was very quickly put together. I did one side with egg and one side with avocado. Pika's in his bed sleeping and I'm going to go to my little den, my little cave. Excuse the mess. I just took over this whole room and I'm going to eat this and continue to work. Oh, and my beaver tail. Oh my God. So exciting. I just finished work I feel so tired but my head doesn't hurt anymore thankfully um, I think the tough thing about working remotely sometimes is that you're still technically working so even if you're in a new space um, your head is still you know at work so it can be hard to kind of get out of that headspace sometimes once you've shut down your laptop for the day and you are kind of tired and you still have to go out and explore otherwise what would be the point of remote working right but thankfully the night is still young and we have a reservation um for like a really good seafood place at 7 30. it's almost six so um, me and my boyfriend are gonna go take our dog out on a little walk maybe by the waterfront he's also really enjoying toronto and he gets this super nice apartment that we're in well not this room this 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 room has been a little bit dark but it's been perfect because this table that i have here is so wide and big and i don't have this in my new york city apartment so this has been kind of like a good treat for me and it just feels really really nice so yeah all right i gotta clear my head i gotta know, i gotta know that i'm off work now 
um, so that I can go and enjoy a nice little walk, enjoy dinner. And I was thinking about going to a cocktail bar tonight, but honestly, I haven't gotten the best sleep lately, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think we're just gonna come back home after dinner and enjoy an episode of um, a K-drama and maybe have some tea. And then I'm gonna try to sleep before midnight today so that I can finally get some good rest because I do have a few meetings tomorrow. So just wanna make sure that I'm good for that. Anyways, yay, work is over. minute drive or like an hour by public transportation it's a little bit further away from the city so let's hope there's not too much traffic Ouch. this also doubles as a fish shop which is really cool so they have some fresh fresh seafood all locally harvested here in Canada. Oysters, mussels, clams. All the salmon, the tuna, looks so good. And they have it in retail prices too, so you can come and pick it up. Cook it at home. because it's harvested during a specific time of the year that it's available. It has the perfect balance of fatty and lean, right? And it's, it's special and unique and hard to catch and better compared to other salmon. home from dinner I don't see the pup anywhere let's see if he's <laughs> found him he's on the bed he's typically not allowed on the bed at home but we got you it's around 9 30 now so it's been a really 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 long day I'm tired from work and everything else that I did also can we just appreciate this view here it is so amazing, so amazing. We would never be able to afford something like this, so that's why we splurged on this Airbnb for five nights. It was not cheap, it was like 200 and something dollars a night. So 
definitely a splurge but I wanted to experience something like this like a high-rise apartment that is really nice anyways I'm gonna clean up the apartment now because it's a complete mess and then I'm gonna pretty much get ready for bed I have a bunch of footage that I need to just organize and upload onto my laptop so that when it comes time to edit it'll be semi organized and then I'm gonna plan what to do for tomorrow because we're gonna be in Toronto for two more full days even though we'll be working I still want to be able to do things either before work or after work or even during lunch and at least find some good food spots to explore so I'll be doing that but fingers crossed I sleep before midnight today and then I get a good night's sleep because I haven't been sleeping very well so hope you guys enjoyed this what I did in a day while working remotely in Toronto nothing special I don't think but um I feel like when you're still working a nine to five job and you're traveling, um, you appreciate those little moments that you can get to go outside and just explore what's nearby and what's around you. And even doing that is much more fulfilling than just staying at home, being caught up with work and not really leaving the house. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you in my next vlog i'll be doing a bunch more still in toronto and coming an ottawa trip coming up so stay tuned for those vlogs bye